Hello guys, um, Wadok Studios here about to take you through instructions for the uh, R player me character base tool. A uh, little disclaimer, not affiliated with Ready Player Me in any way, shape or form and there's no characters included in this pack. It is a work uh, flow efficiency tool to get you up and going with a fully playable character extremely quickly. So when you download um, from the marketplace, You'll go to launch the U project and you're going to get prompted with this. Uh, you'll just hit no. Um, it's going to say you won't be able to open any assets with it. It's fine. You just say, you know, disable and continue. Same thing with the SDK for Ready Player Me. You'll just hit uh, disable and continue. So you're going to load up and you're going to get a message like this. And this is fine. It's basically just letting you know that you have a missing plugin. So when you load up, you should be here. I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to my content view um, just because I like that a little better. So um, everything should be good to go and set up for you as far as classes, all of that good jazz. Um, what you'll want to do is right here in the red, you'll highlight this and in the details panel, you'll see open help URL. So if you click open and hit yes, it's going to launch this here and you'll download this BP 427 ready player me plugin that's provided directly from, um, them. So if you go to this other URL here, here you'll see that there's this URL just points to the UE4 integration doc URL where they provide the SDK. So from this moment, you'll go to your downloads folder where you have this zip file and I extracted it and you'll copy these two folders directly into your uh, package folder. So it's here and you'll need to make a plugins folder. So we'll do that. And then we will paste. All right. So at this point, you would close out of the project and then you would relaunch the tool project. It's going to say your project file is out of date because you just copied the plugin into your project and it's fine. You can update the project at this point and dismiss this. So now that you have the SDK enabled, um, the tool set should just work. So now if we hit play, you'll see that it's going to launch your create a full body 3d avatar from ready player me. This is their demo site. So it's just a subdomain that's already set up and pre-configured, ready to go. Um, so since I've been here before, uh, it already has me loaded into an avatar, but by default, uh, let me take the avatar off of here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to cancel this. By default, you would be prompted with this screen and you would be able to say masculine, feminine. Um, for this, and I've included this in the documentation, uh, you can take a photo or go without a photo. But for the SDK and what's included in uh, the tool set, um, you need full bodies, not where it says head only. Um, from this standpoint, you can customize your avatar however you like, pick clothing, etc. You would hit next.
and again the engine is going to bring you directly here from here you copy this go back to the engine and you put you paste what was copied right here in this text box and you hit load avatar and there we go you are set up ready to go with ready player me fully playable character Hopefully this guy this helps you guys get started real you know relatively quickly and on your way to having a fully fledged out character based around the Ready Player Me framework. You guys have a good one. Till next time.